In this video, we will discuss the mass source definition option in eTabs. Let's get started. To define the mass source in eTabs, go to Define Mass Source. Here, we can define the specific parameters of the mass source to be used. Let's go through all of the options that are available to the user. First, Element Self Mass. Each structural element has a material property associated with it. One of the items specified in the material properties is a mass per unit volume. When this box is checked, eTabs determines the building mass associated with the element mass by multiplying the volume of each structural element times its specified mass per unit volume. So this is the actual default. Next, if you click on additional mass, it's also possible to assign additional mass to account for partitions, cladding, and so forth. This additional mass is applied to each joint in the structure on a tributary area basis in all three translational directions. Note that the additional masses can be input as negative. Next, if we click on specified load patterns, you can specify a load pattern combination that essentially defines the mass of the structure. This mass is equal to the weight defined by the load combination divided by the gravitational multiplier. Only the global Z direction loads are considered when calculating mass. So this mass is applied to each joint in the structure on a tributary area basis in all three translational directions. Also, an important note, negative mass is not allowed in eTabs in the final assembly. After masses are combined, for example, element self mass, additional mass, or specified load patterns, if the net mass at a joint is negative, eTab sets the mass at that joint to zero. Next, the adjust diaphragm lateral mass to move mass centroid option. So you can use this option to move mass centroid associated with the lateral diaphragm. Here, you can set the ratio of the diaphragm width both in the X and Y direction. So another important note, for flexible diaphragms with distributed mass, the adjust diaphragm lateral mass to move mass centroid option moves the distributed masses so that the resulting mass centroid will move as specified. Lastly, let's take a look at the mass options in the bottom right portion of the form. So if you click on include lateral mass, the assigned translational mass in the global X and Y axes directions are assigned rotational mass moments of inertia about the global Z axis. Now if I click on include vertical mass, the assigned translational mass in the global Z axis direction and assigned rotational mass moments of inertia about the global X and Y axes are considered in the analysis. So you want to leave this box unchecked if you don't want to consider any vertical dynamics. Now if you click on lump lateral mass at story levels, this option moves lateral mass that may occur between story levels to the nearest story level during analysis. So this option can be used in conjunction with the default element self mass option for which the total mass is applied to each joint in the structure on a tributary area basis, again in all three translational directions. You can also use this with the include lateral mass option.